You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And today I have a, a familiar face, at least on social media, right? <laughs> um, of course. Angela Smart, but tell us, pronounce your name for me so I can get it right. Avagalia. Okay, and it's Greek. And it's Greek, okay. means angel, messenger of God, so. I love it. I think it's It's, it's a, hard it's to beautiful. pronounce. But, okay, so I shortened it and make it a little easier for me. Everybody knows me by Angela, so. You got drafted today. To John Hayes <laughs> is sick, and the Edgar Park Neighborhood Association, mm -hmm. which he's the president of, is doing another wonderful event. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, it's uh, it's our autumn fest. We're going to have events for the kids, you know, just to get them into the neighborhood to, to get the community together. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have some donuts on a string. Um, entertainment from okay let me see i'm sorry i apologize it's all on my phone so that's the new way of doing it hey my students do it in class i won't let them write i won't let if them i do showed a you this text from, from john it's like eight pages it's, long okay there you go so john this is all your fault okay um we're gonna have all rhymes as a dj mm -hmm. it's his birthday today too as well as mine so happy birthday yeah. happy birthday <laughs> to both of you um and we've gotten a lot of feedback from the last event that we had with the backpacks and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So we were like, we're gonna have a fall one to okay. bring in, you know, the end of the the end of the season. Well, the beginning of the season and the end of one. Um, there's gonna be, like I said, the donuts on a string. There's gonna be face painting. There's gonna be the ambulance trucks, the police trucks, the everything. Um, there'll be dancing entertainment from, okay, let me get this up. Sorry, I apologize. What is the time of the overall event? It is, okay, I have everything. It's all there. It's all there. If you go to the um, Edgar Park um, Neighborhood Association on Facebook, our events are all up there on everybody who's coming. Um, and anything, anything that anybody wants to bring or to just enjoy themselves. There's going to be music playing. There's going to be entertainment from, let's see, oh, what is her dance group? Oh, Lord. I just had it up. I apologize, folks. Don't worry about it. Um, cool Kids is going to be there. They'll be dancing from Eva Pina and the Cultural Dance Movement. They'll be performing. Uh, Lou, Luz LaBoy is doing face painting. We're going to have special uh, guest speakers, Mike Brady and Tom Monahan. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had some great sponsors like George's Cafe, uh, Team Tagger. Big one, big mm -hmm. sponsor for it. Mm -hmm. um, district Attorney, where's that one? That's uh, Cruz, District Attorney uh, Cruz. Yep, Tim Cruz. Tim Cruz and, his, and his assistant DA, Joe, I can never say his last name correctly, Jeznezik? Okay. Jeznezik? I, I don't know. I can't but... say it and I apologize. Okay. Um, and we've gotten from Lynch's to everyone that you can think of that has been involved in city events and everything has been greatly um, with sponsoring us, we've got, let's see, let me go a, back. And it doesn't cost anything. No, That's this event is totally free. Okay. And the kids will have fun. It's all ages. We're going to, it's just going to be everybody coming together and enjoying the fall weather and having fun. Kids are going to be in costumes. There's going to be, get, um, each uh, vendor is going to be giving out candy to the kids. So it's a safe place for the kids to actually come and go trick or treating before, before the actual trick or treating. Trick -or -treating. Exactly. So, you know? It's Saturday the 29th, it's at Edgar Park, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm just trying to figure out the start time. Okay, let me get that up. I do, like I said, I do apologize. Everything is all over on this thing. That's why it's hard. Cell phones uh, are good for certain I, things. And my schedule is so booked, it's unbelievable. Like, I'm everywhere, and when I say everywhere, you know me as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just everywhere. Let's see. And I do apologize, folks. That are watching. Well, we're going to send you to the Facebook. Page. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. And then this will be up on the Facebook. Yes, page, so. it's actually Saturday, on October 29th, from 12 to 5 p.m. Yeah. And it's the address is 197 Dover Street. Okay, and that's near Winthrop Street, Dover Street. Yep. Um, uh, I, I actually, it's right off of Main Street. If you hit Dover Street. Warren and Main. Yeah. And, and over it's, there. It's, it's where um, Rocky Marciano's. It's where the Legion it's, plays baseball. Everybody, it's the near volleyball the course, House. everything. Um, there's, Everything. There's, there's a, um, a, I call it the center of Brockton because that's it really like one is. of the, It really is. Ward 2 has always been the center of Brockton. It comprises the downtown area. Oh, yes. And, you know, George's Cafe, Charlie, you know, Charlie Tataglia is a big booster, I'm yes, sure, helping yes. you out from I, George's. Everything. And, uh, it's they an all-volunteer awesome. organization. This is not an organization where people have salaries or get paid anything. No, you, we do you, it and put our time in, and it's just, it's just crazy. It's like... 
everyone's like, where do you have time to do everything? I'm like, it's my city, it's my home. It's, how else can I sit there and tell people that I love my city? I do love my city. And it's kind of spreading from park to park. It yes. started over at Keith Park. Yes, we started with Edgar. Yeah, I, we started there was at Keith an Park event with Lynn. recently at Hancock mm -hmm. Park. I live over in, in that area. Yeah. I grew up at Ashley Street Playground. I'm hoping that Ashley Street Playground. We're even Playground's trying to get Tukas gonna, involved. Gonna we're trying back. to get at, we're trying to get where we actually do an event at each of the big parks mm -hmm. and then even do small events at the little parks that way because there's a lot of parks that are little that don't get the recognition and they don't get used the way that they should. Like there's, uh, I can't think of the park's name, but it's on Winter and Hoveden at the point there. I know what you're talking about. I can't, it escapes I, me right now yes, as well. Yes, and I remember there being a playground and, and there's nothing there now. And there's nothing but a basketball court. We did the cleanup one year there. Mm -hmm. And we did the basketball court. So the, you know, we spray painted them over, painted them up, put new nets on, and the kids used them. The more that we take care of our community, the better we become. Absolutely. And having events like this to know that people, it's okay to have events. It's okay to go out there. It's what the media portrays of Brockton outside of this, it bothers me. It makes me crazy too. You're right. Because, yeah, ratings get because of all this and all the negativity. I'm done with negative. You know why we're on TV more than any place else? We're the closest live shot on a TV truck. Yep. to the stations. Yep. You go further down to New Bedford and Fall River, guess what? The signal isn't as clear. No, so we're it's closer. Not. And think about it. The courthouse is here. So if there's a crime headline, it says Brockton on it for that reason. This is a good place. I've been here all my life I'm and born it's hard to hear. I have a friend that loves every time she sees the word Brockton, I get a phone call. Oh. And it's like, please don't do that to me because it's a it's a good place. Okay. Yep. The other place is just kind of it over and you don't know that it exactly yet. but it takes a community to build a community to build a community yeah. okay and it's got to um, start somewhere and all the players are in place the the elected officials that support you know Mike mm -hmm. Brady is a Ward 2 guy Tom Monahan is the counselor from Ward 2 I'm sure I'm, I'm sure you'll see you know rep senators school committee people but it's the people it's the it's the it's your it's the citizen that's out there that exactly. just wants to see it be a a nice place. I want I want back to the day. I know I'm not that old and I know I'm not that young either, but I remember playing outside back in late 80s, early 90s till that street light came on. And even after the street light came on, I still had an extra half hour. Now everyone's bringing their kids in at five o'clock before well, it's like it's you're going to bring them all out 12 to 5, exactly. the 29th over at the Edgar Park Playground? Yes, right One there in the, the heart of it all. Yep. In the it's, city. It, it's got the water. It's I know it's cold and it's nap, but we've got the water spouts there. We got the skateboard park there. We've got it, there's so much that's been built there that people are still afraid to go there, and then they shouldn't be because mm -hmm. it's a family park. You got a baseball field, volleyball courts, basketball courts, skate. Like I said, skate oh. park, the playgrounds, everything. You guys are gonna bring them up. Keep up the we good work. To. We have to. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for being on it. No Happy problem. birthday. <laughs> Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.